Grizzlies pulled out of the box. So are the Lakers. <laughs> First team to score is win. Inside, Lamar. And Luke will have it tapped away. It was the right hand for Lamar. That'll do you in every time. Mike Miller protected it, and he's got the first deuce. So they're first on their fifth try. How often do you see a team when they absolutely miss a layup? The opposition goes down and scores, regardless whether it's uh, any kind of basket, they're going to score. It'll be Luke Walton. Time things up. Luke has been a different player. You and I talked about it earlier tonight when we were out there watching him warm up. Basketball IQ and everything else. The thing he brings to the table is the mindset of the game. He understands the game, and when he's playing with confidence, the other things fall into place. Darko Milicic gets a little baby hook. If there's anybody uh, at it, it's automatic that they get away with it. Shot clock issues. Kobe on the mismatch. And Gasol on the fall away. So Paul Gasol. 27-year-old from Barcelona in his seventh season. He didn't really jump high on any of his shots, but because the ball's so high, uh, he gets away with it. Reposted. Andrew Bynum gave up the dribble. So now, will he bail him out? A little, almost like a layup where Kobe's got a 12-14 footer. It's 6-4. Three minutes gone by. It was like they didn't want to guard him. That pass and shot clock was definitely an issue, and they seemingly backed away. Mike Miller. I mentioned his stroke. 27-year-old, in fact, about a month from now, turns 28 from Mitchell, South Dakota, waiting to happen. Yeah, you always have to know the, who you're passing the ball to, and that was a play where even if Fish catches it, he's in a crowd, that would have been a difficult play for him to complete. Fish over Milicic. Andrew Bynum will keep it alive. I think that's high percentage. Eight, a little over eight to play. Lakers down by a three, nine to six. Andrew's doing a much better job at all times about, you know, not bringing the ball down to where the smalls can get a piece of it. Mike Miller, five, make it seven early points for Miller. Lamar's athleticism against the length of Gasol. Miller got Kobe out of position. And Mike Miller, a miss. Kobe with Luke. Oh, and Kobe's about to give it back to Luke. You figure, you know what, let's get it done, get well, it out of the way. And I'm not a big proponent of ever throwing the ball backwards. If you're out in front, go ahead and take the shot because by just making that extra pass, sometimes you can either turn it over or you give the defense another second or so to get into the play. Mark Ivoroni wants to talk it over, and I would too after the missed shot. Nobody was back defensively, and the Lakers making the most of it, especially that man, Kobe Bryant. Lakers down by three. Gasol got away. Andrew tried to recover over it. Al Gasol that was given a score. It's two. New York 89. This is a final. New York 89. Detroit 65. I thought it was a typo. And I said to our statistician, Dave Davis, please check it. Make sure. Say, you sure it's not? <laughs> now Andrew Bynum with a left hand. How about the look in and then going back to the baseline? And that's what I was talking about with Darko. He shows the same move just about all the time on the box. And now Andrew is showing more and more variety uh, in his offensive game. And that's just what you need out there as a seven-foot, three-point shooter. He's just inside the arc that time. Luke Piquet. Luke is the Lakers balloon. 14-13 as Luke Walt gets the bucket. Well, until they, uh, the Grizzlies get gay in, in order here, they're going to struggle. He is vital to their attack. He gets his first hoop on that shot. He's a leading scorer of the 21-year-old from Baltimore. Seems like he's almost a clone of Rudy Gay. He had a big night against the Lakers. He had not played that many minutes prior to that, though. The switch. Inside, outside. Now Gasol, after the switch, left against Kobe. And it's going to be a loose ball foul. So the basket will count. And does it. Fish saves it. That was a balancing act, wasn't it? Pretty good guy to have as your balancing actor. Fish for three. All of them. It is tied at 18. So four of the five starters have scored. Got to get Lamar a bucket. He blew his opportunity. He had a layup earlier that he missed. Rudy Gay beyond the arc. And it was lucky to get to the rim. So the Lakers looking for early offense. We've seen that regularly this year. It's not there. They had a great night fast break wise. Oh. Kobe got away. He'll get away. Oh. Great contact with Rudy Gay. Well, you can see him struggling a little bit, especially early in the game when you're trying to get that little bit of a second win. When you're gone, he gets a little weaker and weaker. But the guy will not stay off the basketball court as he takes Rudy Gay all the way to the rack, gets the basket, 
and one. So Kobe going to the line. See if he can get point number nine. Yeah, a lot of guys around the league who say everybody should be as sick as Kobe was if they can get 37 like he did on Friday night. 34. You know they can be that sick easily. They just aren't that good. What kind of pass was that? Lowry just checked into the game and trying to direct it. It'll be a tip. Milicic talked about his length. Not many guys can do that with Andrew Bynum. Well, Andrew kind of missed time to jump, was out of position, or else he wouldn't have been able to do it that time, I don't believe. Lakers by a point, 21 to 20. Lamar Odom. Now all five are on the board. So the five starters have scored inside of four to play, and 23 up there already for the Lakers. Had some space. And he doesn't need any space. Lamar coming over. Miller crashed it with the glass. Got it anyway. So that's nine points. All in high definition. Miller. On his way to the free throw line again, too easy. Yeah, a lot of points given up by the Lakers early tonight. That's 11 for Mike Miller. What? Such a good stroke, but not that low. At the free throw line. The Lakers by one. Andrew Bynum over Gasol. Soft touch. Well, again, they left uh, Gasol on that island by himself, and Andrew said, okay, I'm going to show the, the more seasoned veteran that I can make it work on the box. Six and five early. Mike Miller's got it going early, doesn't he? That's 13 for Mike Miller you, on six of eight from the field. Joe Jackson up in a hurry to take the timeout. Uh, uh, he's seen enough of the screens and the curls by Mike Miller. He's going to make some kind of a defensive strategy move here. And game adjustments do you make? And Miller says, you better make something. Well, I'm going to put it on you. Joining Andrew Bynum, Lamar Odom, and Kobe. And the Grizzlies come out of the timeout in a zone, and that'll make the Lakers dunk or jump the play that Phil wanted to run and had live. Kobe weaving his way. It'll be Lamar on the run. A little scoop runner. Don't see it often from Lamar. It worked though. 29-26. Four points early for Lamar. 95 seconds left of the first 12. Rudy Gay. And you're right. Where is Mike Miller? Navarro. He's picked it up lately. Boy, Andrew got up that time, didn't he? He deflected it. Now, the Lakers don't have numbers. There's Kobe will slow it up against Mike Miller. Waiting for Lamar. Instead, take it yourself. And oh, man. Spins at home. Man, that was like a pool shot. Shit. I don't know how Kobe scored his last one. It seemed like it was uh, well short, but somehow it hits the rim. It was below the level of the rim, but crawled over with all that English or whatever was going. The ball kept spinning and spinning. And Trevor Ariza deflected that pass. It goes out of bounds, gives it back to the uh, Grizzlies, but prevented a possible layup. Gay setting up Lowry. And Kyle Lowry wide open up top. So a young man they took in the first round last year, second season, out of Villanova. 29 points and counting here, they'll go for the last shot. Uh, Phil Jackson can't be happy about that. Now, way too many. Mike Miller. And Gay was not ready. If he'd have been ready to lay up. Yep. Kobe at the buzzer. So the Lakers go to the break with a two-point lead, but giving up too many to the Memphis Grizzlies. Yeah, way too many for the, to the Memphis, uh, Memphis Grizzlies. Lakers have to tighten up their defense. Coming up next, a birthday surprise for that man, Rony Turiyoff. Happy 25th uh, birthday, Rony. 31-29, Patrick O'Neill here with you. That there is a Rony Turiyoff. Just so happens to be his 25th birthday today. And as he comes in, he is serenaded by the Laker girls with a birthday cake. Funny, I had my 40th. No Laker girls, no cake. But to be a Laker, to be Roni, who has shown so much heart, he gets the big surprise. Roni Turioff has got his head coach from Gonzaga, Mark Few, in attendance tonight. Certainly excited, getting ready to just hang on to the cake, whatever you do, Roni. The only slip up he's had all season long. Don't forget tonight, after Lakers Live. Paul's got it. Been a roller coaster ride over the last couple of weeks for the second unit. Almost like an all or nothing at all kind of thing. Popped out on Akeem Warren. Man, Lakers give it away. Warwick checking in his third season out of Syracuse. First round pick of the airs. Yes. Guess who? 
Mike Miller, 16 points for Miller, right on his average. And he is 7 of 9. Count for it. Well, you just have to push him to help. I mean, uh, you know, I've said it many times. If I'm your teammate, I can't help you if you're allowing your man to shoot jump shots. Jordan Farmer. Got so far under the basket. Tough angle. On 33. 32. Trying to go 14 over 500. See that time how Trevor stayed on his hip and made him put the ball on the floor to help? Hakeem Warwick. His he's first his basket his, of the game. He's worked on his outside game because uh, when he came into this league, boy, you would just pay him to take a 15-footer. He had 43 starts last year, Stu, and trying to get minutes this year as Kobe Carl lost the handle. Turnover is the fourth of the game for the Lakers. Miller feeling it figures why not. I don't blame him. 19 for Mike Miller, 37 to 33. Season high, 31. His career best, 45. On Friday night, his fewest for a long, long time. But if this is continued, the sparse minutes will too. Kobe Carl kept Navarro away from him. The battle of the little guys. Now Farmar changing directions. Thought he'd go on the reverse instead. It'll be Trevor Ariza with a triple. It's the Lakers back within one. It had been before that an 11 to 2 run. It out or like Jordan just did, dribble penetration and then pushed it out. Kyle Gasol, that is a strange look and release. Nobody has some good results with the most of the time. Hey, 43 is last game in the loss. The season high 43 and not off. Far off his career best. 10 of the shot clock. Kwame blows by Gasol. Well, that's what he can give you. He's very athletic, as we all know, for his size, but can he get it down? Gasol isn't going to make your all-defensive team to begin with. Obviously, lack of awareness. Kobe Carl. He got inside. All of a sudden, it fell apart. Gasol, nice touch pass. And his partner, Lowry, won't give him an assist. He tried to shoot it up over Kwame. Kwame really didn't jump the block at that uh, touch, too, but protected the shot. Lamar, Glasser. He took it hard against Warwick, didn't he? Bodied him well. Now Lamar with a half dozen. And with this unit out there, Lamar has got to be a force offensively. Right about the same time with his mother, who's here for his birthday. Roney, kind of that way. Good start <laughs> on your birthday. Happy birthday, Roney. <laughs> <laughs> Probably signaling mom up there right now. 42-37. Rudy Gay struggled against Golden State on Friday night. Now he's on the floor with Warwick, and Warwick trying to do too much. So off the turnover, George Farmer made Navarro look like a statue. Well, uh, Navarro didn't attack. He, uh, defense is a reactionary position, so. Had it deflected. Farmer again, this time against Lowry. Different story. And the over the shoulder didn't work. Well, jumped away from the foul by turning his body that way. Rudy Gay. Scoop. Won't work. Farmer pushing the tempo. His kind of game. Kobe will set it up for George. And Palmer gets the triple. Gordon says, I can't make a layup, although I did make it a difficult try. So let me step away from the paint and do my specialty. He is really knocking the perimeter game down this year. Timeout. Kobe up against a smaller Kyle Lowry. Lowry did almost take it away. Shot clock down. Three ball short by Kobe. Next whistle will get one anyway. Inside of six to play. Navarro, short, looking for the foul, didn't get the call. So the Grizzlies way down now after a hot start. Luke got away from the smaller man. Paper rolls it home, and yes, he wants the timeout as soon as they get it across the half court line. How about 16 yeah. unanswered? He should have called the timeout after the Lakers' uh, previous basket, not this one. Let a little bit of momentum get away from him there, and now the Lakers have opened up a, uh, a nice little cushion here of 12, 49, 37. Not to square up to that baseline and protect against that, uh, that screen. Mike Miller setting up. Mike Conley. Uh, Conley. The southpaw hits the three to end the dry spell. That's all right, though. They're making somebody other than Mike Miller take those shots. Out of bounds on the pass. I didn't think it was touched by anybody. The only thing that influenced the official to think that it might have been tapped was the fact that Mike Miller made such an effort to get to it but then decided to let it go out of bounds. At six early turnovers for the Lakers. They have been really clean when it comes to that. 
Conley getting it inside for Darko. You see, there's his shot. That's his arsenal right there, that jump hook. He does that just about 90% of all of his attempts. Fish, long two. So a decisive Derek Fisher. And why not after what he did against them last time? Well, what an assignment that Miller is playing as well. It'll be back to Gasol. Now the mismatch inside. That was as short as you could be for a guy that size. The slam by Rudy Gay. Yeah, that's what we've been talking about. Got inside. Didn't need much space, did he? That's the way you finished, boy. He did that so quick. Thought about it over Mike Miller. Rudy now one for two. Might have put. It'll go down to Gasol and Gasol. The Lakers get beaten back. Didn't have the defensive balance. Give up an easy one. 12 51, point lead yeah. is gone, is it? 51-46, <laughs> cut in half. Trying to remind him not many touches since he's come back onto the floor. Isolation play. And right pass. Darko Milicic. Well, Mark Ivoroni said he was traveling, but he wasn't. He kept his anchor foot. Obviously, you can do that as often as you want. Pick and pop. Man. Mike Miller didn't get it that time after the bump. Now Luke in and back out. And Kobe gets the three. 56-46. Kobe with 16. Boy, he is really, he is really gasping for air, though. <laughs> yeah, since Mike had an early 19. They leave Conley again. Bandy gets him again. So Mike Conley, who's averaging. Overall, a little more than six a game with four assists. Well, he's made a couple now. Now you have to rush at him a little bit sooner. So he's got back-to-back -back three. That's 19 for Kobe. Kobe could do that anytime, though. But, you know, it's not a, 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 a lot of times you see Connolly knocking down a lot of three-pointers. 59-49 Lakers by 10. Gasol, good luck. That's a free throw. Yep. Andrew had dropped down. Looking for the dribble penetration, so it didn't develop. Kobe right back to Andrew. Doubling Andrew. Andrew using the offense. And Andrew, little baby runner. So he's got double figures, 10 and 8. He's got to worry about using that off arm like that. That was very close. Not only two early fouls. Bobby Jones is checked in. 10-day contract signed by the former Washington Husky. He's out for the final few seconds. Conley. Short that time, and Andrew Bynum, 10 and 9, close to a double-double by the young man in the first half. Now the Lakers play for the final shot. That's becoming routine for him. And Kobe weaves his way to the oh, teardrop. Oh. He's upset with himself and the lack of a call. Yeah. I don't think he's too upset at himself, but he's sure upset at those guys with the whistles. <laughs> he's showing them where he thinks he got hit. So the Lakers go to the break, up by 10, shooting a big number. Still 57%. 61-51. Let's head down to Billy Mack of the guys. Jack of the box. Halftime report. Come on, the guy's so good. He, you know, you put somebody on him his size, and it seems to be a mismatch. He's, an, he's just an offensive machine. So Kobe gets a couple to the free throw line. He's up to 21. He's also 7 of 7 of the strike. Oh. Make it. Two more coming into the free throw line. So the Lakers pick their spots, and it pays off a game with pressure. They trapped Miller, and he tried to give the ball back to Gay, who had taken the ball out of bounds, and Kobe shot the gap. Right there to get the steal and the foul, so he's right back to the charity strike. That's the way you run your full court press. Well, he was sick that night, remember? Yeah, just oh, like that's right. Just like he's sick tonight. When he's sick, he's dangerous. Yeah, 22 points, and that's his first miss at the free throw line. All his confidence, he being Connolly. Kobe, flat on that shot. Not a lot of arch on it. Mike Conley hit a couple beyond the arc, but that's when he was wide open. He really got to step into it. What a quick release. That's a quick release. Rudy Gay. Uh, he is now three of nine. He's in his last two after starting out. One for seven. Extra opportunity. Kobe to quit on the play. Gonna be Luke stepping into it. Right back to Lamar Odom. Third drive for the Lakers. Beautiful pass. Lamar with Luke diving. That is what Lamar likes to do better than anything. That's why I say he's more of a third score uh, as opposed to a number two score. He can get him in bunches in this game. So tonight, Memphis. Tomorrow night, Seattle. And a step back. Rudy Gay. Man. It got, I thought it got the rip. Instead, a finger roll. And, and Andrew unfortunately, was down. Andrew Bynum took a shot. 
And he's holding on to his right knee, unfortunately. Oh, man, make it his left knee. Yeah. Yeah. And he's uh, not even attempting to get up. So the Lakers take a, tw uh, take a timeout. As the athletic trainer Gary Vitti goes down. And first thing they like to do is to talk. Or, as you can see, not putting any weight on the left leg at all. That's not a good sign. Uh, and, you know, the same scenario, when I say scenario, last season, Lakers were rolling along and then the injury bug hit. So let's just hope there's nothing serious. It seems like he gets his foot caught up with Lamar Odom's foot and his knee uh, either torqued or something. And very serious because uh, he went down in a heap and immediately grabbed that left knee. Boy, that's just bad news. Bad awful, news. awful news. And for as you can see now, he, he can't put anything down on it. But you know, and I'm, I'm, you know, wishful thinking here. He got up and then was helped off the floor. Lakers by 11, 66, 55. The pick and roll action. So switches now. And Rudy Gay denied the first time. We'll get the second. And Kwame's arm came down, so Kwame's got the foul. You see, he walked under him. Man. <laughs> Use his body to get underneath the shooter. Andrew to Andrew. They've got to somehow get that out of their system. I'm sure they're concerned, but they've got a game to take care of business in. Conley on the lob. Kobe fingers it off the window. 68-57. Lakers by 11 as Kobe's got 24. And it demands the ball in the post and then makes something happen once he gets it. Lamar blocked away by Gasol. Gasol will retrieve it. So six minutes and 40 seconds left in the third. Conley all the way to the hole. He's not going right. 68-59. Back. Luke pops it away from Gay. Goes right back at it, though. Man. Good job by Luke and Kwame coming over to help out, putting Gay in a tough position. Lamar on the run, and Fish found him. That's nice and job by rhythm. Jerry Fisher. Never looked at... Uh, Lamar. This team. They just brought in Bobby Jones for Rudy Gay. Gay has struggled tonight. Conley free. And Mike Conley. That's for his range. 72 61. As Conley has 10. Take and make those shots because defensively, that's the guy they lead. Kobe, before Bobby Jones could recover, puts the Lakers up by 14. 29 for Kobe. And that's their leading score. Kwame's there. And. He thought it was shot underneath. And I, I agree with him. I thought that the defender went under him a bit, and that's why he ended up so far under the basket. Conley doesn't get the roll. Bobby Jones will keep it alive. And finally, Milicic. Well, the bar left by himself under there. Kwame didn't get back and get involved. That's eight points for Darko. We need a point to show the condition. And remind him. Extra pass is Bobby Jones. And Bobby Brown cleared it out. Milic. Shot clock down. Gasol had to. That's his range right there. High post, 15, 16 footer. Passed on it originally, then got it. Something and then shoot makes it a little bit more difficult. We saw the matchup with Lamar. Little step back. Nice footwork. By Powell Gasol brings it back to nine. Nice 76, touch. 67. Nice touch also. Well, his scoring load pick up, but the way the Lakers play a little bit will pick up. What I mean by that is. They were running a lot of screen and roll with Andrew and then just throwing the lobs. They may not do the same thing with uh, Plummer. Turnover. Man, bad one for the Lakers. Out of the timeout. It'll be a three-point opportunity for Bobby Jones. And jumper. Farmar, two for one. That's what he was looking at. But man, that was a deep three. He's, he's getting the two for one. It's just that first of the two comes up dry. So low percentage three for Jordan Farmer. A good five feet beyond the three-point line straight away. Conley wanted to go back to his side. That was taken away. Gay overdue. Now, final shot time for the Lakers. It'll be Crittenden. Leaving it off. Good pass. Farmer for three. Got it! They collaborated well that time. That's Lakers a, by 10. Nice little drop-off pass by Crittenden. Very nice the recognition. And the two of them slap hands going off to court.
as they combine for the final three points of the quarter. Jordan said, I might have missed the last one, but this one is nothing but bottom. Is back there. You have Mitch Kupchak and Jim Buss is back there. And um, word I'm getting is that Andrew is in, in a great deal of pain. Uh, but again, they're just hoping this is a sprain. We'll get an MRI tomorrow. Back to you. Yeah, Luke Walton. Usually you don't throw it back to your rim, and he did exactly that. You never save the ball on the defensive end. 19 points for Gasol. That was a gift. Crittenden running the offense with Jordan Farmar. Kwame, little jump hook. Ariza had the inside position. Won't quit Look on that it. That hustle. Great effort by Trevor Ariza. And on the ground, through his legs, it'll be picked up by Crittenden. For the scramble. And Javaris rolls it home. Ariza went to yeah. get it done. Ariza should get an assist. And especially when you'd have that last turnover. <laughs> yeah, frustration makes you do some strange things sometimes. Javaris setting up Kwame. And Rudy Gay got involved. Jump ball. But Javaris always looking at And that's the toughest thing for Javaris Crittenden right now. Sometimes you just to thrust yourself to jump. That's like uh, you're on the free throw line defensively. And before you can jump, you have to really get your hands down and then thrust them back up to get the kind of elevation you like. Shot clock down. Crittenden saw it, so he's up. And Javaris a couple of early buckets. 84-72. Well, he sure broke off somebody with that crossover. Good thing he's got a good trainer in Memphis. His ankle is being broke. Navarro is back -bettling. Lowry trying to lob it. Man, a little touch by Powell Gasol, and it was behind Gasol. That was a nice adjustment by Powell. Swami showing it. Thought he'd go and hand it off instead with the jump ball. And Trevor Ariza took it away from Gasol. Resets it. So there's what we've talked about since the acquisition. This is game number 22. Crittenden. Javaris feeling it. Gets a triple. Javaris is loosened up now. We've talked about it. The Lakers have a major talent in the making in Javaris Crittenden. Leaving it off and Warwick couldn't ask for a better look than the Lakers beating the punch. Lowry coming back from out of bounds after he kicked it. Nobody's guarding. And with the right hand, he's going to lay it. And I talked about points in the paint. How about now the points in the paint in the second half? 22 to 8, Memphis. After the Lakers led 32 to 22, points in the paint at the break. Miller, you saw the roll, man. Boy, he had Warwick for a dunk and went inside. Instead, Lowry for three. Great. It tried to go in. Well, he got tapped inside of 405 and counting. Kobe all the way to the hole. The high percentage look. That stops a 14 to nothing run to give the Lakers the lead. So look at how quickly they uh, get the ball in the operational zone. Lakers a little slow getting back. Gasol trying to give it back to him. Miller rattles a three. Two point Memphis lead. You let him hang around. This is what happens. 91 89. Miller. With eight points, nicely back into the game. They made the run without him. He's got it deep into the clock, and Luke Walton's got the takeaway. So Gay, another turnover. Fish on the crossover, the run, and the three-point opportunity. There's that body of Derek Fisher. Boy, he can absorb some contact. He gets into the lane and just throws his body into the defender. As Luke starts it off with having his hands up, Ball over to the offensive player's head. Only one place you can pass it. Then Derek, contact, bounce, basket. Three-point opportunity to give the Lakers the lead. Derek will try to mark nine and nine thus far. And does exactly that. 93-91. Premium on the stops now. The final three. And also a premium on the uh, defensive glass. Force a miss. It's got to be one and out. Gasol's 18, and that's rebounds. Tie his career high. The double on Gasol. It frees up the shooter. Kwame came out, and it made a difference. But it'll be picked up by Lowry. Look at a fresh shot clock. But a good close and challenge. Lowry setting up the shooter. And you got to stay on. Lowry's wide open. Well, it was a mismatch. Somehow Kwame ended up on Lowry on that last offensive rebound, and the Lakers didn't toss the play. So Navarro, rather. Navarro on the three, and Kobe shoots two. And I said Lowry, but it's Navarro, and Navarro's got eight. Player, visit Lakers.com. All the official entry for and complete rules. Version America, this is how to fly. Lakers by a point.
But can they get the stops? And deny the perimeter. Talked about the uh, offensive rebounding situation. Last trip down, they didn't cover up their offensive rebound. Now Warwick. He'll go to the line to shoot two. It's been for Rudy Gaither. Four of 18 with the turnovers. He gives them the lead. Minute 53 to play. Grizzlies 96 to 95. And make one or two. So the Lakers with the ball, but the Grizzlies have the lead. It'll be a pick set up for Kobe. Double team on him. Blowing past a couple. And on the reverse, he will shoot two. Well, if you're going to double him, then you surely cannot allow him to get that kind of dribble penetration. They're there, and somehow he gets around Navarro and gets into the painted area and gets fouled. I mean, right there, he just attacked the weakest side of that double team and gets into the paint. So two more free throws for Kobe. He is 12 of 13, make it 13 of 14. It was almost short. Just crawled over, didn't it? This isn't horseshoes. 96 apiece. You wanted to see a close game, didn't you? Yeah, sure. You don't like close games? I like the six-game winning streaks even better. A six-game winning streak after a close 97, game? 97-96, Lakers. Minute to play in regulation. Lakers don't want the fans to leave early. First of a back-to-back. -back. There's the guy who had the hot hand early. Probably coming out. Wanted to go back on the reflection. Probably's got it. Up ahead, Kobe. Trying to lose better. And it'll be going down anyway, and it was goaltending, I believe, by Lowry. Anyway, it, it was going to go down. So a timeout should be yeah, timeout. It looked like Lowry Grizzlies. got it though after good, it hit the glass. Good job by the Lakers of getting their hands up as Mike Miller was trying to get the ball to Pau the soul on the pick and roll. They deflect it, they get it, and then they end up with the basket. 99-96. I mean nursing a three-point lead, and that's only because defensively they got their hands up, deflected the ball. Kobe with the deflection, then the return pass. Kobe goes up, puts it in, and the basket counts. Kobe with 37 as Mike Miller tried to draw the charge, and Kobe jumped over the right shoulder, avoided that, and gets the easy hoop. Ball's up there, touched the glass. The officials should have signaled that that was goaltending, but they didn't. Goes in anyhow, but... I think they should have signaled that that would have been goaltending. But Mike Miller is the danger guy. He goes in quickly to Gasol. Bonnie's got it. Now to Varro. No flip two. Like one thing you didn't want to give up. And they get it. That's beat by Rudy Gay, rather. Gets the three. And they get the last shot. That's the thing. That's why you don't give up a three-point basket. Now Kobe. Fish available in the corner. Clock consideration. It'll be Luke out top by Gasol. Leaves it off. Kwame blows the dunk. Wow. Tied at 99. It's going back to Memphis. What a gift. And they're calling a foul. Kwame will go to the line well, to shoot two. That's a good foul if you're the Grizzlies. But even at, with the foul, they hit him on the head. It shouldn't have affected a two-hand dunk. He's there. He gets hit. But look at the continuation play. That should have been a basket and one, and now Kwame going to the line. He's not a confident free throw shooter to start with. Now he's got the pressure of two free throws with nine seconds of a tie ball game. He's missed his only two tonight. On the season, he is 11 for 29, below 40%. Darko Darko back into the game. So Kwame trying to give the Lakers the lead. And Darko's in to get the rebound because they're going to take a timeout. Okay, one down. Now, the second. So, one point lead. Kwame off the bench. 25 minutes of play. With six boards. That's his third point. And he make it a two point lead. Well, he better. That, seriously, that way you can play a little bit more aggressively defensively. And Luke didn't get the time out yeah it'll you, go the other way yeah they changed that rule you can't be falling out of bounds <laughs> and call a timeout so the Grizz will take the ball with 7.5 seconds to play the Lakers by one
almost a turnover. Lowry now got to stop the ball. They didn't call the foul, batted out. It'll be work for the win. How no foul called underneath. I don't believe that. Sure.